Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I am bringing you three card captor Sakura themed crafts. Now when we got the pixie box that had the stay at home theme, I had to think about what I like to do when I'm at home and that has got to be watching my favorite anime card captor Sakura. So I thought that I would include the Sakura set from Sophie and Toffee, which is super duper cute. I don't know if you guys have seen it on the website. It's been there for quite some time and I've always wanted it. So I finally have it and I thought, let's mix this up with the Pixie Box. Now, as soon as I saw this cute little TV mold, I was like, there is no way that I'm not gonna make this into a necklace. So of course I had to get out all of my Larissi glitters and choose the cutest, pinkest ones that I had and mix together a little Sakura concoction. And then I used the uh, opaque resins from the Sakura set to just do some little accents in the TV. Okay, I knew this was going to be adorable when it came out of the mold, but I didn't know it was going to be this adorable. How cute is this TV? It is just, it is just the sweetest, the absolute sweetest. So I went to my little sticker book and pulled out a little, uh, a little snippet of the anime and I had to cut it down to size, but I thought that this worked absolutely perfectly because it literally looks like I've just paused it and just captured it inside of the frame. Next, it's time to add in some last minute embellishments. So here are some clay Sakura pieces, also from Sophie and Toffee, and I added in some pearls where the buttons should be because I wanted to actually feel some buttons. All that was left to do was to add my chain and hey presto, I now have the most adorable Cardcaptor Sakura TV necklace. I will treasure this for the rest of time. <laughs> Okay, so do we remember getting this box and being a little bit like, um, why have we received an empty box? Clearly, it's for us to decorate. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I did mine. You might notice I had some teeny tiny little air bubbles there on the side of the Sakuras. Well, glitter covers everything, honey, okay? So just remember that, cover all your mistakes in glitter. Speaking of mistake, um, this for me was a mistake. So this is the clasp for the box and I'm using this washi tape here to try and cover it. And then I tried to cover it over with stickers and then I was like, do you know what? No, this actually looks a bit of a hot mess. <laughs> so I put it down, left it, and I came back to it later. <laughs> so I'm using this washi tape on top of the box and then I actually thought, do you know what? I'm actually gonna cover the clasp in this as well just to keep it a bit more uniform. And I was happier with that. Now, some of you might have realized that I've kind of delved into the world of journaling kind of head first really like I, I'd never done it before but I've been absolutely loving it and I thought why not do some journaling on the box so that's what you're seeing right here I'm literally just cutting and sticking paper on anything these days anything I can get my hands on is gonna get some paper stuck on it <laughs> and yes I'm using another butterfly I'm trying to get over the phobia so yay for me <laughs> I really, really love the way that this turned out. I think that the little petals are so, so delicate. The teeny tiny rhinestones, the ribbon, it's just all, it's all very Sakura, isn't it? It's very much like her personality. It's cute, it's pink, it's light and feathery. It's wonderful, I love it so, so much. And I use it to keep all of my little Sakura blossoms in. Okay, so lastly, we have my Sakura brush holder. Now, my husband got me these adorable brushes for my birthday, and I really wanted something nice to put them in. I probably shouldn't have used UV resin for this craft. I was being a little bit impatient, I have to be honest. I would probably advise you to use epoxy resin for this because A, it's a lot of resin that you're using, and um, B, when you're trying to cure something like this that has um, like a middle part to obviously make like the, the, the hole of the vase, um, that part is going to move 
if you're using a resin that cures really quickly. Um, and so it ended up being a little bit, you know, a little bit of a gooey mess inside, but never mind, I managed to save it. Um, and also I had to gloss the outside of it as well. And then what I did was I took this gorgeous golden bookmark and I tied it around the front and hey presto we have a beautiful brush holder what do you guys think of this i'm actually really happy with the way that that one there turned out let me know what you think in the comment section down below take care my darlings and i'll see you all soon bye